Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are back in Numa, Breath of Light. Apparently the Sanctorum or something. Uh, last episode, our character started realizing that maybe they might not be a god of this realm after all. But they, they certainly think they are. Look at these, look at these flowers. Very nice. So what is the deal with these guys? Oh, it's more toggle ones. Right? Or is it? Not actually sure. Do I have to, like, get them all in view at once? I don't- not- not really seeing how that's gonna be possible. What am I stuck on? Oh, well, that was weird. Uh, apparently it's very easy to get stuck on geometry in this game. Hey! Achievement progress! Piece by piece, two out of eight! Right. Two, three. Oh, we have to look at them in a certain order. Okay, which one is this, then? Four. Five. There's one, alright. One. Oh, that's three. Okay, so... That's two. Right, I got it now. I got it now. Let's see. One... And... two... And... three... And... four... five. There we go! Simple as that. Interesting, what's going on here? This world is clearly the product of a mind. It is full of inorganic patterns and purposeful architecture. Could a series of complex interactions create an agent possible of making purposeful change in an environment? If that were the case, then it would make a compelling argument for a world without craft. Still a world optimized for some function, mind you. If something was transient, if something abided in this universe for a moment, or if something was removed, where does it go? A thing that is removed from the universe does not exist. A thing that does not exist. How can I know of a thing that does not exist? A memory of a thing that once existed. I need a principle to avoid this contradiction. This cognitive dissonance in my mind. How can I know of a thing that does not exist? What is this pervasive delusion? Things must exist forever. How are these things created? Before creation, they did not exist. Tense. Time. Time! The world has time! The world is not always the same, aha! But I am constrained to this time. Why am I constrained to time? A god should not be constrained! Sure, sure, Wheatley, whatever you say. Anyway, I can't figure out what's going on here at all. Is that, like, supposed to be the shadow of one of these things, or...? Are these all- these are all the same clock faces, right? What am I supposed to do here? Just not look at any of them? Hmm. Or do I have to look at them all within a certain time? It's interesting that we could walk on the water, though. Do I have to, like, make them all reset and then run through the door while it's still open? Doesn't seem to be what's happening here. They definitely seem like they're counting down. What am I doing? I am a bit perplexed here. Also, these textures seem a little bit... screwed up, for some reason. Not sure what happened there.
So we can actually see the one on the left animating there. But what does that mean for us? It skips really far ahead when it makes a tick sound. Is this one still up, or is that just reflective on the back? Oh... When it counts all the way down, that light goes off. So I do have to get them all within a certain time limit. Okay. These are weird leaves. Interesting. Is there a run key? Alright, well, that seemed to have done it. Alright, there we go. So far, not puzzles. At least not by my definition of puzzle. Here's a question for me. If I was to study the corner of a board game, could I infer the rules of the game? Perhaps if I use my godlike powers of intuition. How can you understand a world from a vertical slice? Sometimes empirical knowledge is required, surely. Not everything can be inductive or deductive. What is this thing's deal? Is there a way I can move it... ...somewhere else? I don't really see any other places for it to go, but it definitely seems like that's where I want to get it. What the? What's that sound? What is that sound? I need to make that sound. I don't understand what I'm doing here. There's no other ones. Can I... It doesn't- it doesn't jump with me, so jumping doesn't do anything. Unfortunately. That's the door that's gonna open when I have victory. Oh! Okay then. Okay then. I see now. Uh. Sort of? Where do I want this again? Come on now. So that's the start. Gotcha. And... I guess now we want it down in this edge. And then over here? There we go. Alright, that worked. <laughs> I- yeah, the player does not look up. That is number one. If the world is made for me, for what purpose? Is it a test? Is it to be enjoyed? Is it to bring a claim to its creator? As a god, I feel like I should have a stronger grasp of this. What's making that sound? Oh my goodness, what is even happening right now? Oh no! What am I doing? Do I need to match these up? 
white, white, black, white, black. And then... Black, white, black, white, black. Oh my gosh. So then only the center one. No? What did I do wrong? What do these buttons have to do with anything? I'm rather perplexed. Oh, we're gonna go downstairs, huh? And here I thought that door was gonna open, but no, this is definitely a place we can go, right? What the heck, is that a torch? What? I think the... I <laughs> I think the, the draw order is a bit screwed up there. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to see that fire. That is, uh... Yeah. Huh. What am I trying to accomplish here? Why is it changed sometimes but not others? It doesn't seem to be a pattern to it. Like, it's making a sound right now, but it's not changing. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was not changing. Why, though? Oh my gosh. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong here. Why do they only change sometimes? I don't understand what the buttons are for, either. What? What did I even do? I don't even understand what I did! Okay then? <laughs> what? <laughs> Apparently I had the buttons matching them. I thought that was what I had to do, but it didn't work when I did it the first time. I must have accidentally changed one of them. And then I thought that I accidentally changed this one. I have no idea what I just did there. Okay then. Interesting. Right. Well... I guess we made progress. <laughs> what good is a challenge? Does the creator wish to teach, or perhaps just entertain? Some space to think, or maybe just to do something productive? Hmm. Can I click on these? Oh, I can. Why, though? Oh, I hate these. Why do people put these in games? Hmm... Where's... there's no still light blue up there. There we go. There's that. There's that. Oops. There we go. What's wrong with that? Oh, I guess I need these intersections to match as well. Yep, there we go. <laughs> that wasn't hard. I don't even know why people put those in games anyway. Wait, uh, where do I go next? Up there? 
I heard something. Can't interact with that anymore. I guess I just go back up? Let's try going back up. Gosh, this movement speed is so slow. Yep, apparently this was it. Right, gotcha. Any secrets around here? Not particularly. Alright. Hello! <laughs> Achievement progress piece by piece, 3 of 8. Alright then. A state change on observation. Things in this world can change. Apparently between only two states though, on and off. Hopefully not indicative of my state of mind. Binary. Between two extremes, two poles if you will. Okay, I guess that's all I needed to do. What does this thing do? Can't click on it at all. But why does the world change between a few states? Changes only seem to occur in small degrees. Why? Why is the world quantized? It confuses me that there's a limited amount of states in this world. I think that there would be an infinite amount. Why would there need to be a limit unless there was a constraint? And why would there be a constraint? I sure hope it's due to incomprehensible macro-level relationships rather than the overwhelming simplicity of a system. That is a nightmare which I could not face. The implication would be clear. A wooden boy given the breath of life. So I guess now I need to open this? Uh... Oops. How do I get out of here now? Hmm, I can't have these both open at the same time? Really now. So then what am I supposed to do instead? Oh. Um, can I see that one from over here? I don't think so, right? But it seems like this one also alternates both- so that door is controlled by two different things that alternate it. So if I do that, and then I find a way to see this one... It doesn't let me do what I want to do, though. There's no way out here. I can't... do that. I can't see it from around here. Is there a way I can walk on top of this? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe? Is this what I even- is this even what I'm supposed to do? This kind of feels like I'm cheating a little bit here. That seems to have worked, though. There we go. Yeah, I guess that's what I needed to do. <laughs> Interesting. Continuous makes more sense than discrete, surely. All ideas are continuous, but the mechanics are discrete. Nonsense. Clearly nonsense. The location of each item in the world is only accurate to a binary exponent width of 8 bits. Why? And still, it can only be observed by a keen eye for infinitesimal phenomena. Planck's constant, the universe's machine epsilon. Oh, what am I even saying? Paranoia! Paranoia! What am I trying to do here? Is there, like, an indicator of the order? I can't tell if I'm supposed to do these in a certain order, or... If I'm supposed to rotate these in a certain way? It's not clear what the game wants for me here. I just have to see all of them? Oh, okay. Alright then. I guess that was a thing I did. 
On to the next level, I suppose. Grand! So many doors! The path still appears to travel onwards behind a large gate, but there are forks in this path. An opportunity to travel, see the universe, go along any path I desire. All this travelling, though. I would like a travelling companion. Someone to watch over me, help decide where to go, watch my back, keep me company. Oh, but that's just silliness. I don't really need anyone. I'm a god. You've got me, and you've got the people watching me. Is that not enough? Also, let me take a picture of this. That's a really nice, that's a really nice view. I might actually use that for a thumbnail, I don't know. There's lots of things they could use for the thumbnail, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> but you guys know, because you guys can see it already. So let's see... that's one. Interesting. What is this? Two. Interesting. That requires one, two, three, and four to open. Oh, and here's... three. And here's four. Where did we just come from? It's not exactly clear. Did we... is this... if I go into one, is it gonna take me back from once I came? Let's find out. This is very similar architecture to the game Echo by Ultra Ultra, which I've mentioned before. This world has rules, clearly. For one, I cannot walk through walls, which is disturbing. You'd think if I was a god, I could do what I wished. For the most part, I don't appear to be in control. Perhaps my subconscious is keeping the world in shape. Subconscious. A powerful part of mind. All along, unobserved. Subtle. I wonder what resides in this subconscious. Those thoughts that I'm not aware of. Not all of my decisions are wisely made under the full power of cognition. Some decisions are made outside of the conscious self. I seem to observe a lot of my actions with little or no control over them. I must still own these actions. I have no idea what he's if talking knowledge about. Knowledge is in the mind. To be alone is to experience all of knowledge. All the substance of knowledge exists within mind. Therefore, to suppose another whose mind was unknowable or transient would suppose a world in which all knowing was an impossibility. So it follows that being alone serves as a proof of my deity. In this way, it is a comfort to me that I am alone. Others would be a difficult problem. A stairway to heaven, made of fool's gold. Am I supposed to be making stairs? Cause that's what I'm doing. Don't know if it's right. If I'm supposed to do this without seeing it, that's a bit- that's a bit peculiar. Cause I can easily just stand behind them. There we go. I don't even know how high I can jump on these stairs. I have to get up there? Okay. New goal. Reconfigure the stairs. How high can I jump? Let's figure out that first. Let's try that. Can I jump that high? Yes. Okay. So that's- that's the height I will space them out with. Oops. This is a nice picture, too. Lots of nice pictures to look at. Right, so. There's that. Come on. Let me through here, please. Okay, I guess there's a little bit more leeway than I was expecting. Nope, nope, nope. And there we go. Let's- let's reconfigure this a little bit more. That looks like it might work. Let's try that. Interesting. 
seems to be working, sort of. I'm not sure what was in the... the one, Roman numeral one. I couldn't figure out what to do in there. Huh. That was weird, what made that sound? Being alone is important. If one does not hear both parts of a conversation, one cannot have a full idea of what is discussed. To be alone is to know the whole story. But still, this world seems to attempt to communicate something. The world is filled with part conversation. The writings on the walls, the, the walls themselves! Really? What was even the point of that? That wasn't even a puzzle, that was just, can you look and make it match? That's not a puzzle. Okay. Strange. Uh, um, <clears throat> let there be yet more light! <sighs> Done. We have to rotate ourselves open. Okay, apparently I did something. Hello. I guess we solved this area then? Be being alone can serve as a comfort. If there's no one, no one can hurt you. But perhaps that's a bleak outlook. There must be joy that comes from others. Praise? They can offer praise. As a god, praise is something I can relate to. Not enough praise at the moment. Worship wouldn't go amiss. But... If there were others, they might attempt to belittle me, bring me down to improve their own relative status, accuse me of pride, narcissism, pretentiousness, or grandiose self-referential commentary. Nonsense. Pretension implies there is a lack of thought. The pretense of thought. I've thought long and hard about how brilliant I am. Alright. I'm not sure... I'm not sure if I am a fan of the humor in this game. Like, it doesn't annoy me. But it also doesn't- Oh, I didn't even notice these floor tiles. What the? Oh, no. Are you serious right now? This is what it's come down to? I'm gonna get these other ones. This is a nightmare and a half. Um. Oh no! What have I done? Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. This is... this is a nightmarish situation here. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> um... I don't even know what the best way to tackle this is. This is... Are you kidding me right now? I really have to do this, huh? Right, I guess we'll do this and then end the episode. Uh... Or something? What is the best way to approach this? How did that one get... different? Alright. Are you serious? Is this something I have to do now?
I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> this is just so tedious. Uh, hmm. How can I do this now? Like, I'm so close. Oh my gosh, I'm one away! Just give it to me, game. Oh my gosh, somehow I did it. I don't even know how I did it, but I did it, somehow. Um, something happened, right? Oh, this door opened. Really? I thought it was gonna be that door. So apparently I had to make them all blank. Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!